Hickok 45 back with the Glock 20 Gen 5 for some Chapter 2 action, some kind of follow-up. Aren't you glad to see me again? I knew you would be. But guess what? Yeah, we had a couple of malfunctions in Chapter 1 or the first video with this farm. Huh? Or was it there three maybe? And, uh, I, well, we were maybe going to send it back and not do it. I don't know. Sometimes we do a second video with guns. Sometimes we don't. Usually we do. And so we were talking about, yeah, since we had the malfunctions, we probably should shoot some more, you know, do a little follow-up. And because, uh, <clears throat> you know, malfunctions with a Glock are kind of unusual. I know if you're a Glock hater, you don't believe that, but it really is. And, uh, and I got to thinking about it, which is dangerous. And I rolled it around my head. I thought, you know what? The malfunctions were with my old magazines and not the ones that came with the gun. And some of them, now I'm not sure which ones it was, but those were all old, you know, had the barn and kept with some uh, reloads, 10 millimeter. They always work. Uh, and I thought maybe, you know, with really hot ammo, just the speed of the slide. And if the spring is not really up to snuff, maybe that was part of it. I don't know. I'm really not making excuses for it. I don't, I don't really care one way or the other, although maybe that could have been part of it. So. Well, I'm in the chapter two, so go ahead and do that here soon after the first one. And I'm going to experiment with just, just hot ammo, you know. And I brought uh, my Gen 4. I didn't bring the Gen 3 out again if you need to do that. But I've got my Gen 4 in this one. And I'm going to just shoot, uh, you know, hopper, hotter ammo, hyper hotter, <laughs> whatever, okay? And we'll see what we get with, the most importantly, the three new magazines that came with the gun. And now they are 10 round mags. But that's irrelevant what we're doing. These are brand new magazines. I think I did shoot them a little bit uh, in the first video, but they're, they're they're very little or no use, okay? So I've got some pretty warm stuff. That s and I shot uh, in the first video seemed pretty warm. I've got a magazine of it. I've got a magazine of Trophy Bonded, which is hot stuff. It's got kind of a flat nose. I think that's the first one we had trouble with. And I've got uh, Underwood, 200 grain, you know, Underwood's famous for nice ammo, aren't they, in terms of uh, hot night, 10 millimeter. It's one of their claims to fame, I guess. So we're going to shoot that, and uh, let's see. So let's just shoot a little bit here. This chapter two, I'm going to enjoy shooting it. Whatever happens with it, what else should we shoot first? How about the S and B? Okay. Oh. Yeah. It, all right. So what did I just say? S and B going in first, <laughs> and ears going in before I fire. Hmm. Now I'll make sure I'm not, I'll, uh, you know, make sure I'm not limp wristing. Let's try for a bullseye right there. A red or a uh, uh, steel plate. What am I doing? Okay, I'm shooting low. Yeah. <laughs> All right, the S and B did fine. All right, let's try the uh, Underwood. Now also I noticed with the Underwood uh, bullet, you, you don't have a big flat nose or wide mouth hollow point, you know, the, uh, the S and B has a, I guess that's a wider hollow point. Uh, and that's historically always been an issue with people, my generation, you know, shooting 1911s and things, you, you want a nice hollow point, but if it's very open, you'd have trouble with the early 1911s. Typically you don't have that issue with, uh, you know, modern polymer pistols. So, so anyway, it's hot ammo, but it's really a nice, uh, hollow point contour I'd say for in terms of reliability all right 200 grains I'd say a 200 grain uh, 10 millimeter from Underwood ought to take out a hog yeah looks like it would take out a cowboy too I bet it'd take out a two liter <laughs> It might take out a gong if I could hit it. <laughs> I think I heard it. All right. Well, so far so good. Okay. Now these are the uh, trophy bonded. Okay, three up, three, that's 30 rounds. Uh, 
So I don't know how scientific this is, <laughs> but I thought, why not? I'll load, uh, I'll load them up one more time and uh, maybe I'll shoot some of my Gen 4 since it's still dirty too. That's why I, uh, you know, I thought, man, it'd be smart to do this. Well, I don't give myself too much credit. I don't know how many things I do that are smart, but okay, we'll put the S&D in there. And uh, so I'll, do it. I'll shoot, uh, I don't know, may mix it up, shoot some in the Gen 4 and some of them in the Gen 5. Okay, I can tell by looking at them, I don't have to label, I know what they look like. I'm so smart, I know what a bullet looks like by the mouth. The bullet. Now you can't always rely on that, can you? Some of them are pretty similar. These are three distinctive looking bullets, literally bullets. I do realize that the thing that comes out the barrel is the bullet, okay? The thing that comes out the side is the case, right? <laughs> the whole thing is the cartridge. So I just like to troll people by calling the whole thing a bullet, which is not technically correct. And it helps give some people something to complain about, all right? me a hard time about I deserve to have a hard time <laughs> okay so there we go let's try them again I'll uh I'll tell you what I'll do well when I shoot like the first uh four or five in the Glock Gen 5 since that's the subject you know the s and I'll shoot about four of them how's that all right Well, I guess I gotta shoot five now. <laughs> Since there's one in the chamber, right? And let's shoot the rest of them in the Gen 4. All right, five. All right. All right, Gen 4 seems to work. All right, now what do we got? Let's go with the, uh, okay, the trophy bonded. We'll shoot, we'll shoot five. Mag out. The fifth one. Okay. And let's shoot the rest of them in my Gen 4. Hmm. All right. Okay. So far, we're having fun. All right. The uh, Underwood. All right. Oh, I want to also thank, well, in fact, why don't I shoot them? Alabama holster. I happen to have one in my pocket most days. Uh, make great little Kydex, high quality concealment holsters. And uh, I'm gonna emphasize that fact by putting a <laughs> underwood bullet. <laughs> Let's try the gong again. All right. That was four, right? Let's just shoot one right here. Okay. I took the mag out, so it should be empty. All right. We'll finish off with the Gen 4. Yeah. Okay. So, I guess the Gen 5, uh, that, that might have been it, okay? You know, I was in a couple of different gun shops this morning and I was looking for a brand new, I was going to buy a brand new, just a standard capacity, 10 millimeter, you know, Glock 20 mag, and neither shop had any. And uh, I might have one somewhere, you know, in the wrapper, I don't know where, but so I was going to, it's not that it really matters. These are new, they're just 10 rounders. Uh, you know what, I, I really don't like seeing uh, three bullets in that thing. I, I really don't. And five in this one. Uh, I don't really like that either. Uh, actually, gonna be six. I see one lying there on the table. I'm gonna take care of that situation. Is that okay? You know, there's a there's a one or two, and that's an underwood. Now, you normally wouldn't mix these up like this. Ah, and I might not be able. To, yeah, I can with my loader. Got nine in there. Oh, put the underwood right on top. Okay, now everything is neat and clean and it gives me a chance to shoot one more mag.
All right, so first round's gonna be Underwood, then we're going to S and B for about five, was it? And then back to Underwood. All right. All right, no problem. So there we go, for whatever that's worth. And, uh, and then what it was worth to me was I got to have some more fun shooting the Glock 20 uh, Gen 5. So, like I say, for whatever that's worth, I, I guess it might have been my magazines. I, okay, I don't know. So, uh, it, and if this were a, a new firearm that is just released or something like that, I, yeah, I don't know, I know what to think yet. I uh, had to go for months probably testing it. The fact that Glocks, Glock 20s, Glock anything, they just work. You know, they just work. So, so I got to think it was my mags, you know, after today. But either way, had some more fun shooting and you're allowed to think whatever you think and draw whatever conclusions you want to. Life is good. Oh yeah, that's better. This is a great gun for defense. Oh, hey, didn't see you guys there. Uh, while I've got you here, I want to remind you of our friends over at Talon Grips and Ballastall. Talon Grips makes uh, grips, can you believe it, uh, for all different types of firearms. You can get rough texture or more of a rubberized texture. Uh, it just sticks right on there. You know, really affordable, really cool option to in improve the grip for your handguns um, or, or rifles. Uh, so please check them out at talongungrips.com. You'll be glad you did. And also, Ballastall. Uh, Dad has been using Ballastall for many years it's a cleaner and a lubricant and it's non-toxic uh, it works really great and we're happy to have them on board since it's been a part of our shooting endeavor for a very long time so go to ballastall.com talongungrips.com and also while you're out there i'm juggling all these things here also uh while you're on the internet please do check out our other social media like hickok 45 on facebook there's also hickok 45 on twitter the real Hickok 45 on Instagram. There's a John underscore Hickok 45 on Instagram where I do some things. There's Hickok45.com. Uh, you can find us also on GunStreamer. So check out all that stuff and then watch more videos.